Hi everyone, this is Peter. Today I want to introduce is the Teradek Bopo 600. Okay, for the Bopo 600 or above, and then it's already uh, have an external antenna. So for this versions, it is actually the HDMI and SDI compatible. And also the SDI have light uh, loop out also. So in, in the front, you will see there is a several light. The first one is actually the, is a power, power light. And then the other one is actually get, you, if you get any light video signal into the uh, transmitter. So the third one is actually showing you that the TX is already connected with the RX. So that means if you see this three lights is on, so probably you, the, RX is, uh, the RX is already received the signals. If you see there is uh, maybe a, uh, a light at the bottom, which is actually have some issues happens. So the, for the receiver, so for sure that, okay, because the, uh, the cover range on the uh, Bobo 600 is actually much wider than the uh, 300. So you've got like a whole bunch of uh, antenna, external antenna outside, other than the screens. And then, okay, on this side, you've got like the HDMI and also the SDI out and also the power and, uh, and, and on and off button. On the other side, they have actually some indicator to showing you the receiving signals. And also, at the same as the TX, you will see there is a light which get, giving you, okay, whether they have a, a video or not. And then the other one is actually you have connected with the uh, TX or not. Ah, and also one more, one more thing which I actually miss is this USB. What is this USB for? That is a new function for the, uh, compared with the previous versions, is once you connect it with this USB with your computer, and then the computer will recognize this as a video signal in, for example, like a webcam. So if you've got a capture uh, software, which you can actually directly capture the video source, which is from the RX. Okay, so on the uh, front panel, so uh, it's showing you a lot of information. For example, like, okay, the, uh, the, uh, the signal, the, um, the SDI or HDMI signal is actually on out already or not, or maybe on a USB, or for example, like maybe you have error and then the lights will on in red. And on the other side, okay, in the screen, it's showing you, for example, like, okay, now the receiving signal is 1080-50i, and also the frequency is, um, is um, uh, 5310 megahertz and the signal now the link is good so it's showing you a very um, uh, critical information which you really need to know so on the other hand okay this is also the time code so what is mean the time code now the, the transmitter and the, and the receiver this transmission can actually carry in time code so what I what, why I need to have the time code for example like okay if you connect this into a recorder. For example, like maybe your camera is onto a, onto a motorcycle and then you connect, you, you, you actually connect the, the RX to a director monitor, but you also want to record it. And then, okay, so when the camera is triggered, the time code is running, and then this will also connect it with your recorder and then start to also the recording too. So this is, I think, is, a, is actually crucial for a lot of situations. And then, okay, on the screen itself, you can actually go to, uh, to, set, to set whatever, like maybe at the resolutions that which you want to do, but at this moment, sure, it cannot support full, uh, 2K and also 4K. But uh, for example, like, okay, I can get like maybe a 1080-50i, but I uh, want to output to uh, maybe a, a 720, 720p. So you can set up that, but uh, I want to add, now I want to just set whatever in and then uh, go do it out, okay? So on the other hand, okay, you can actually set the test pattern, you can actually pair. So what is it, what is mean the pair? So because for the previous versions, the TX and RX is actually pair when you are actually shipped from the factories. So when you do a pair, it's a little bit complicated. But now, okay, you can have several sets of system, but you but for a particular event, you want to have like, for example, like you've got uh, two sets of Bopo uh, 600. But now this event, I want to have one TX with two RX. So then you can using this pair to pair with the, uh, with the uh, uh, TX. And then after the, after the shoots, and then you can pair it into one to one. And then it is actually much easier to set up than before. 
So then this is also something which I like is when the video signal is lost, you want to rather go to the last shots or maybe you go to black screen. I will always, always want to put onto the last shots because okay, when maybe when you drop, when you lost the signal, <coughs> maybe in a short period of time, like a one second, you don't want to just suddenly drop into black. And then, okay, this is something which I think it is really like maybe, uh, maybe uh, thinking about like maybe uh, the, uh, the daily uh, working basis. So you will see now the RX on the uh, Bo Pro 600 and then it's actually more advanced and then give you more information about like maybe what's the situations on the transmissions. So it helping you to judge whether maybe the distance and the location or the conditions for the transmission is actually good or not. It's actually much better than the Bo Pro 300. But uh, I, I think like, no matter like the uh, Propo 600 and the 2000, the setup is probably the same. Just only the range is different. So because the Bopo series, they have a very low delay. So the Teradek aim is zero delay, but I think it's less than half film delay. So you can have a lot of um, usage. For, for example, like, okay, I'm now using the PD movie, using this wireless flow focus system, uh, wireless uh, transmission system, and then to do the focus. So for example, like that, okay, I'm out for, okay, I get in info and then I go out. So you see, actually the focus is actually very precise because the transmissions without any delay, if you got a delay and then it's actually not maybe a thing with your uh, fo uh, follow focus system, you never ever get a precise focus. So you will see how slow the, uh, the delay it is. And then the other thing is it is also good for a lot of situations like the OP productions because okay, they have no lip sync issues. So for example, like I'm doing tests right now. So for example, like now, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. So you will see, okay, the, um, uh, the time and also the, uh, the sound is actually sync very, uh, very precisely. So when you're doing a little, uh, some uh, situations, for example, like indoor event, seminar, or even like a little bit bigger situations, because this is covered at 200 meters, so which is actually quite a wide range in Hong Kong. So I think like it will be good for some people which they are not able to, uh, um, to, to have the license, for example, for the microwave stuff, and then don't want to pay such amount of money to buy maybe those kind of expensive equipment, but you want to have the benefit to having a wireless to run all over the place, and then at the same time, maybe you are using the full focus, uh, the, the, uh, the steady cam, the gimbal, or even the drum, and then you want to maybe uh, to control the focus and the zoom, and then this system is actually perfect for your situations. So if you want to know more about like the, uh, the, uh, the Bobo 600, and even you want to try this Bobo 600, please visit ANS website and contact us.